everyone this is Amy welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you yet another really simple design using a round brush I am going to be using it's a round brush it's a 16 by Princeton Heritage uh, 4050R is the number of it and then I'm going to be using a, a magic paintbrush flat brush number six number eight Deerfoot stippler and a Wistonia fine liner all the paints I'm using on this are folk art paints using happy green teal yellow ochre and wicker white now on this um, these are a combination of multi-surface and uh, enamels I am using did I I'm not sure if I said thicket or not sorry if I'm repeating it but thicket also so let's go ahead and get started I have the teal out here on my plate I'm gonna go ahead and just totally emerge the bristles of my round brush into the teal and start recreating all right so I'm gonna start up at the top here and I'm just gonna pull towards the center and the reason I love this brush for this, I just decided to pick out some of these brushes I haven't used for a while to do some easy designs with. And then once I did, I'm like, oh my gosh, they're just, they're just so easy to create with. And they make great designs. So you can always pull up an extra, an extra petal like that. It is not quite as opaque as I'd like, so if I were to be selling this bottle I'd probably come back over it or mix another color in with it and then I'm going to come over here do the same thing and just pull towards the center just a quick little touch and then pull touch and pull and with the amount of petals that you're painting it doesn't really matter just whatever fits around your flower it doesn't it doesn't really matter. I guess that I'm I'm just I'm not creating anything to be a specific flower. So whatever you decide to do is fine. Now like on this one it comes over into the other flower. Can't see it as well, but I'm just gonna leave it like that. And you know, once again I could come back over it with maybe white or a contrasting color with this color like Calypso Sky or something to that effect and I know I keep getting really shiny here so one of two things can be done if you want if you're painting this design I would either add in another color just to give it more opaqueness and more durability or I would give it some dry time and go back over it if you want to just keep it one color and that's up to you but the more paint you put on your design the better it's going to be all right so the next step I'm gonna take my fine liner and I'm gonna stick it in here stick it in there and pull it down. So I'm just going to pull it down through here and actually even if I wanted to I could pull it in there just to make it look like it was attached that direction just for the mere fact that I want it to break it up a little bit. You can always do that, break it up some with your leaves. And you can make your stem thicker if you want, or like I've done some of my other ones, I've done some wigglies with them. I like to do that too. And this is just real simple, just adding just some lines. And you'll see what I'm going to do with these here in a minute. this I'm going to do it because I want it to 
going to be able to see it a little bit better. And you'll see, I'll come up this way a little bit. I like to crisscross some so that it's they're not just all straight and if you're doing a clear bottle you know you wouldn't have to be quite as concerned about putting in the lighter green as I am on this because of uh, it blending in so much all right so then for the leaves I'm going to do my happy green and my thicket and I'm just taking the number six brush, dipping one side in one color, one side in the other color, doing a blending stroke. I don't spend a whole lot of time on my blending strokes. If you're somebody who does, keep doing what you're doing. But I'm just going to come up and do some longer leaves. And it'll probably go over some of these little things that I just painted. Not a big deal. And I just keep loading my brush, sorry, loading my brush with paint. And I'm not real concerned about whether you know I have the direction of the paint going one way or the other. I don't really it doesn't really matter to me. Meaning if I have the dark on the top, dark on the bottom, I'm just however my paintbrush goes is how I'm painting it. Just so you know. Because I know some people will be really really into that because of light source and that type of thing. And if you're somebody like that, then just feel free to pay attention to that and figure that out. Where your light sources are coming from, which direction, that's fine. If you're new to my channel, please know that my designs are meant to be very easy. That's why I create them the way I do. And let's see, I'm not going to do too many leaves. The next thing I'm going to do is come back and where I can see, like I didn't even clean out the brush, I'm just putting it into the tea berry. And where I can see, like say this one's coming up, I'm just going to do a light little touch and pull. Uh, let's see, let's do one here. Do one over here. So just wherever I think it looks like it is, I'm just going to keep putting these little, like the little flowers. And they're just kind of random. And just wherever I, I feel that I can stick them. I can stick one over here. Just a real light touch. And the last thing I'm going to do I'm going to hit this with a heat gun so I can put my center so I'll be right back. All right, so what I'm going to do is take my Deerfoot Stippler. I'm just going to pounce it all into the yellow ochre. And then come in here and just pounce real simple centers in. Still might pull up some of the blue or the teal. Um, but that's okay. And again, on something like this, if you don't like that to take place then do what you need to do as far as putting in more dry time and for some reason I've got pink in here okay that's all right all right so I'm coming through here and just tapping in these centers very easily with the white and then what I'll do is come back over them tap in to give it more interest but I'm going to leave it just like this for now. I hope you like this. It's very easy for a beginner painter. Please make sure you give me a big thumb up, thumbs up Excuse me, if you like this video. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and prior to leaving, if you would, share this on your social network with all your family and friends. I would greatly appreciate it. Until the next time, please stay safe and healthy and you have a good one. Bye.